once you're done with your drawings, you want to bake them at 300 for five minutes and you want to place them in between two uh, cardboard slices. You can reuse the one from my box. Um, you, you, you do that, you sandwich them so that they don't totally curl up too much. Otherwise, they make Once it's out of the oven, just let it cool down, still in the cardboard for about 10 minutes, and then you can lift it and they'll be here and then nice and hard. And you see the edges, even though we rounded them up a lot, they're still, you know, a little sharp. So you want to make sure that's nice and round. So that's what you get in your shrink uh, paper project. You will get two pieces of shrink paper, uh, four pencils to color. Uh, the colors will vary. And two little kitchens. Uh, that's what you will need from your house. You'll need a hole punch. That's all I have for some reason. But if you have a bigger one, it's better. Because you need the holes to be pretty big. Uh, because it shrinks so much. Um, and then some kit scissors for them to cut, their, to cut their drawings. Also useful to have pliers. If you want to attach the shrink paper uh, onto the little side, onto the small side. If you don't have pliers, you can just put them on the big ring.